Good afternoon, it's Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for the trading day, the uh, Monday, 20th of August 2018. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal Signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. Certainly download the app, uh, the, uh, app at the uh, Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, so in terms of uh, Monday's trading session, we've got a gap higher. Uh, again, it's that US potential uh, hope or clinging on to hope that the US and China or US Sino trade war certainly comes to a close with a potential trade negotiations negotiation set for 20th, I think 20th of August, 22nd of August. So let's see exactly what goes on there. Asian markets certainly obviously uh, short squeezing higher overnight, China certainly higher, but the Nikkei certainly still closing negative. Okay, so bear that in mind. In terms of fundamentals and the uh, economic data, German Bundesbank has forecast weak growth. That certainly isn't a good sign. Uh, European construction numbers actually did come in stronger than expected, and PPI numbers for Germany came more or less so, more or less in line. In terms of the rest of the day, nothing major. Okay, uh, basically all eyes on the S and P now. Can we break through that key resistance barrier now? We back up potential double top scenario. Uh, we have actually reversed at the moment, but we were touching 22, 28, 58. Uh, the double top is uh, 28, 63, and then obviously you've got the ultimate top there which is gap filler 28.72, so watch out above. Okay, so all eyes on the S&P. Keep an eye on that 60 minute chart, and that will dictate, obviously, the next move. We close the gap on the Friday, and the markets obviously have gone back up even higher on the back of potential uh, resolution with China. So, again, that certainly is all 30, so and, uh, thus far, nothing obviously set in stone. We still have the Turkish contagion story as well in the background, so obviously take that into consideration as well. Okay, so let's look at the technical bigger. German DAX certainly bounces. We've hit a potential intraday double top scenario here uh, thus far. Obviously, as you can see here, we've got higher quite considerably, uh, and the markets certainly have pushed higher. So double top certainly is 12.350. Again, the unfilled gap below it remained at 12.200. So quite an impressive thrust, almost 150 point gap higher. Okay, can that gap sustain itself? That's the question. Okay, that's the question. In terms of the French CAC, again, you've got higher. You've got the uh, potential uh, previous support equals resistance around this zone here okay and then you've got gap fill below at 5345 so what happens there do we close the gap that's the question okay do we close the gap or we continue higher there? and now let's see a 60 minute chart here for you previous support equals resistance so that was certainly expected okay in terms of the french gap moving on to the FTSE 100 now this is an index i've just shorted a close of plus 20 now so that's not too bad okay we were approaching that fib Fib six between fib 61 to fib 75 percent previous support equals resistance lower lows lower high still certainly remain the the play okay in terms of the 10 minute chart on the FTSE at the moment do we close that gap at uh, 7558 uh, or do we potentially push low or do we push high back higher again and retest that pivot high at 7610 that's the question Okay, so let's see exactly how the markets react there. Okay, so uh, in terms of the FTSE, there are a lot of factors at play, uh, keeping it lower. You've got Sage, uh, Bur Burberry as well. Is it Mulberry or Burberry? I can't remember one of the two. Uh, again, that's uh, let me just quickly double check for you. Uh, the bearish eye. Okay, it was Mulberry. So Mulberry warns on profit warning from House of Fraser. Uh, you've got British Software, Group Sage, posted the worst performance down 6.5%. And then obviously adding the fact that you've got business leaders' confidence in the UK economy at lowest so far. So certainly it doesn't pose a good picture for the for the FTSE 100. So that's the status quo. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal Signals and market updates from leading providers. Download the latest app on the Google Play and the Apple App Store. And be sure to visit cfds.com and take advantage of that bonus. Goodbye now.